Welcome back to Vikings Connected. We're grateful for you being here. That is Aaron Newberg. My name is Chris Hockey, and it's time for another edition of Purple Pups. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. This week, it's Purple Paws. A little twist. This week, it's Anthony Harris and his two cats, Cookie and Ella. They didn't have the best um, relationship opening up. When I introduced them, they both like sniffed at each other and like had their backs up and kind of made like a little fight noise. And I was like, hey, I was like, y'all gotta figure it out. Somebody's gotta go back. So she's a Siamese mix and then she's a tabby. Ella's a tabby mixed with uh, like a, like a, some wild bango cat or something they said. And did they come with the names? Yeah, I kept the original names. Okay. Cookie was pretty fitting with the Siamese. I felt like she kind of looks like that cookie emoji, and then um, Ella was just her original name, and it was sweet, so I just kept it. See, this is like usually how she is. Like if I was sitting down, she would just come and get on me like this so I can do this. If I didn't have the laser on and I would just be like laying down, normally she'd like be up in my lap the whole entire time. She's more so cuddly me when she's tired, so she just used me as a pillow but she enjoys the company. Mm -hmm. Oh, see. I know I shouldn't have lured you out with that. I'm sorry. I got him in November from um, the animal shelter. I wanted a dog, but I like traveling and then just me by myself. I figured it was easy, like more, like uh, less maintenance getting a cat. So kind of did like a little homework on him and then um, I did the animal shelter visit. I think the team had like sponsored, where like if you adopt a pet, they cover like the pet fee. Um, so I went and did appearance there and I just checked out the cats. And then I came back the following week and was like, I'm gonna get one. The one thing I liked about getting them from the shelter was that um, they have a lot of people handling them daily, whether it's the people who work there um, and a number of times when I went, there were people who came weekly just to play with them. So there's a lot of interaction. So that's one reason why I think they're pretty social. Like if uh, they were here for a while, like I just picked them up today. So when I got, when they got here, they were pretty curious. They like ran around and checked everything out. Um, but when they're here for a while and the door opens, they run to the door. It's mainly her. She comes to the door and she wants to see who's coming in. And she's super, like, it could be like a random person just coming in and she'll like go up to them and then like let them pick her up. Or if you sit down, she'll come and get on your lap and different things like that. Hop off on her. Go. There we go. <laughs> Tell us about the Instagram page. Initially, I was just posting them on my own social media. And apparently, people like seeing them more than seeing me. So I had a few people who, who literally commented out of humor and maybe some seriousness. Um, they said, hey, I'm just here to see the cats. <laughs> so um, I tried posting them more on my social media. And then there were a few people who said I should make them a cat page, make them an Instagram page. So I kind of wanted to, you know, give the people what they wanted. So I made them a social media page. I'll get some responses like, hey, like, I'm a Siamese so-and-so cat and I'm in Maple Grove for like, maybe like if, you, if you, like your dad's busy and he needs a cat sitter, my mom wouldn't mind. And that way we can play together. So like, it's all fun and jokes, but it's pretty cute.